My name is Jared Gates, and in the short video that follows, I'm going to show you how I went from this to this without any prescription drugs, over-the-counter remedies, or painful and expensive hair transplants. I'll also show you how you can use the exact same 100% natural hair restoration method I did to experience a thicker, fuller, and healthier head of hair in less than three weeks from today. I'll even give you each step of this method right inside this video. Plus, in the next five minutes, you'll also discover why the root cause of all male and female hair loss isn't aging, genetics, or really anything else you've heard of before, but a bizarre steroid your body is producing inside of you this very second. Something that's not only responsible for your hair loss, but that could be putting virtually every man with a bald spot at severe risk for prostate cancer. And that flows through your bloodstream like a lethal dose of poison, eventually reaching your hair follicles and destroying them right at the source so that they can never produce more hair again. So if you've ever felt embarrassed, frustrated, or even a little bit depressed by your bald spot, no matter how big or tiny it is, then it's vital that you stick with me for the next five minutes, because the following presentation will change your life. By the time you finish watching it, you will not only regain that full head of hair you had when you were a kid, but you will regain the confidence that comes from once again being a complete, vital man or woman. In fact, that's exactly what happened for more than 94,992 other men and women just like you. People who use the natural and inexpensive hair restoration techniques inside this video to destroy that hair-killing steroid that's inside their bodies right now and to grow a noticeably fuller and healthier head of hair without any drugs or medications in just a few short weeks. People like Carl Landon of Atmore, Alabama, Nick Kent of Salem, Massachusetts, Daniel Calderas of Flagstaff, Arizona, and Lorraine Denton of Evanston, Wyoming. Now, if you're anything like me, you're less about hype and more about cold, hard facts. So let me go ahead and cut to the chase by telling you exactly what this natural hair restoration method is, why it's been scientifically proven to work, and what makes it dramatically different than anything else you've ever seen or heard. Like I mentioned before, my name is Jared Gates, I'm 57 years old and I live just outside of St. Louis, Missouri. For me, male pattern hair loss struck early. By my mid-twenties, I had an embarrassing bald spot starting to show, which my friends loved to tease me about. And by the time I'd reached my mid-thirties, that small bald spot had spread to form a shining crater across most of my head, so that the only hair I had left was a small ring of hair around the outside of my head. Perhaps the most frustrating part of this was that I wasn't a bad-looking guy if you took away that bald spot. For example, if I wore a baseball cap when I left the house, and women couldn't see my bald spot, they would flirt and smile at me and treat me like any other normal guy. But at social events or dates at nice restaurants, when I couldn't wear my ball cap, everything changed. Women would be nice to me, but they certainly didn't flirt or show any attraction. Guys who were just a few years younger than me would call me sir. The whole world seemed to react differently to me because I didn't have a full head of hair. In my 40s, things started to get really bad. That's me again in the picture you're seeing on the screen. Which is when I finally decided to start using Rogaine. I used it twice a day, every day like directed. And I waited four long months, which is how long the company said it takes to work. By the end of month four, however, the results were pretty disappointing. It seemed like more hair was growing on my forehead, which was certainly not what I wanted, than on my actual bald spot. Plus, not only were the side effects starting to drive me nuts, with my scalp constantly red and rashy and my head feeling like it was on fire, the Rogaine also cost me $40 per month to use, which meant I'd spent a full 160 bucks before I'd even started to see a single new hair. As I did the math, I realized that that worked out to 480 bucks per year I'd need to spend on a hair treatment that was hardly even working. And as I did more research on the Rogaine website, I also found out that if you stop using Rogaine, all of the hair you've grown falls back out in three to four months, which meant I'd need to be using their foam or gel forever and pay them about $5,000 over the coming decade just to have a few more hairs on my head. Frustrated, I began looking at other Rogaine alternatives, things like Propecia and the generic Minoxidil, but they all had the same issues. They were expensive, ineffective, had major side effects, and you had to use them for the rest of your life. So I said, forget this, and started looking into getting a hair transplant. I'd been hearing ads for these on my local sports radio station, and it sounded like the treatment was pretty legit. As soon as I realized what was actually involved in a hair transplant, however, 
I became nauseated at the thought of undergoing the surgery. I'm not sure if you realize this, but in a hair transplant, the surgeon actually slices off between three and four inches of your scalp with a knife. Then he injects hair grafts into your head, a process that is both sickeningly unnatural and extremely painful. Oh, right. Then there's the fact that the average hair transplant procedure costs around $9,500. And because it's a cosmetic procedure, your insurance usually doesn't cover it. Do you have an extra $10,000 lying around? I didn't either. So I decided to just give up on hair restoration. I figured the Rogaine simply wasn't doing enough for me to outweigh the irritation and side effects. And hair transplants were both expensive and terrifying. So I should just accept my baldness and try to ignore how ugly I felt how little confidence I had, how much older I looked than I really was, and how the opposite sex more or less ignored me because of it. So that's where my story would have ended if something really embarrassing hadn't happened. And I'll tell you what that was right now, because as you'll see in a second, it was actually the key to the natural hair restoration method I eventually discovered. So check this out. I was at my doctor's office for my dreaded annual prostate exam. We'll skip the details of that because you already know what happens during this visit and just how uncomfortable it is. But after my doctor had finished violating me, he confirmed that I had an enlarged prostate. Now, that wasn't really surprising because lately I'd found I needed to go to the bathroom more often and that I was also having trouble actually starting and stopping. See, I, I told you this was embarrassing. So, anyways, that part wasn't shocking or anything. But what did surprise me was what my doctor said was causing my enlarged prostate. He said that a steroid called DHT, is what's normally responsible for the growth of prostate cells. I'd never heard of DHT before, but my doctor said it comes from testosterone, and that as we get older, our bodies convert more and more of our testosterone into this steroid. Dr. Blount also mentioned that DHT affects women just as often as it does men, which I thought was really interesting. He said that because ovaries produce a surprisingly large amount of testosterone, and just like with men, as women age, their bodies convert more and more of their testosterone into DHT. But regardless of whether you're a man or a woman, my doctor said, the point is that high levels of DHT are not good. In men, DHT can be a major cause of prostate cancers and causes lower testosterone levels. While in women, DHT throws the body out of hormonal balance and causes mood swings, depression, and even hot flashes. Now, this was all shocking enough to me because I had never even heard of this destructive DHT steroid before, but what my doctor said next absolutely shocked me. And it's something you should pay close attention to because it's key to why you've been losing your hair and how you can naturally reverse this. Thanks for watching. Click the link below to visit our website.